So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and cancel a update on your specific Android phone. Now doing this is actually fairly basic, but basically what happens, the very, very first thing I'd recommend doing is that if your specific update is currently installing, meaning that it's restarted your phone, you see a Google logo and it's installing the update, there is no turning back. You need to let that update finish. When you're done finishing, you might be able to go ahead and actually change some things there. Like maybe you can revert back, but if that update is installing, there is no turning back. I would not recommend restarting your phone, anything like that. Keep your phone charged up because if you honestly go ahead and try turning your phone off or something like that, it's going to break your phone. Okay, so it's not worth it. But the first thing I'd recommend doing, if the update is actually downloading, so if you make your way over to your settings, you go into software update over here or system, and then software update. Essentially, the main way to go ahead and turn back from an update is if it's still downloading is one if there's a cancel button on some versions of software there are there is like a cancel download button then things like that so if you have that ability if it does kind of come up well you can go ahead and basically do that and that should end up canceling the download of that update and canceling the installation now you can also go through if you want to and you can restart your phone so if it's currently downloading what you can do instead of going through and restarting your phone whatever instead of going through and like restarting your phone like this if it's currently still downloading the update, like if it's downloaded like this, there's not much you can do. You just kind of have to make sure your phone doesn't restart. But if you currently are in the middle of downloading an update, you can always just restart your phone and that should end up making that software update basically come back up. So you can click restart and that's going to restart your update or that's going to restart your phone. And as long as that update didn't install, it's going to cancel that download term, you know, kind of temporarily until you go and come back into system update and it's going to you know install that system update from there. So, and those are basically the only ways to do it. If you don't, if you really don't want to install an update, just make sure you don't restart your phone once the update's downloaded. But that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.